Okay, hey guys. Alright, so I got a request to do this video from one of my viewers. And this is just going to be my foundation routine again, revisited. Just because um, I'm in a different location now, um, and the sun decided to come out today, so I figured why not just do a foundation routine, right? So, anyway, I'm going to put my foundation on to finish this look for this eye look, which I'll link below whenever I upload it. <laughs> so, last bunch of days have been sunny, which, uh, not sunny, whoa, rainy and cloudy, which has been absolutely horrible <laughs> for recording or doing anything outside. Which, and it's really uncharacteristic of June to be this rainy, so it just kind of makes me a little upset. But today the sun decided to come out, so I figured why not just record it today nice and easy before the sun goes away again. So, the foundation I'm using is Revlon Colors Stay for Combination No Oily Skin. And it's been pretty much my favorite, my go-to. Um, I guess I'll see if my skin color changes too much for me to wear this over the summer because this is their darkest shade. Um, I'm just going to pour this out because it doesn't have a pump or anything, which is kind of annoying. So, um, that's probably one of my least favorite things about the foundation. Um, the foundation dries very quickly, so you will have to apply it in sections as you go around your face. Um, let's see what else. There is also a pretty strong chemical smell in the foundation, which kind of sucks, and I know my scent just went away again, but it'll be right back. <laughs> um, which is kind of really bad anyway, um, that it dries really quickly, because... Well, if you want to just dot it on your face and blend it all in, you're going to have patches on your face and that's not going to look very natural at all. This foundation is a very, has a heavier consistency, not consistency, it has a heavier coverage. So it's not going to be your little tinted moisturizer in the slightest. And a lot of people would probably opt not to use something like this in the summer. But if you shear this foundation out along with others with water or something, on your brush, if you completely like soak your brush in water, drain out all the extra so it's not dripping all over the place before you apply your foundation, you're gonna have a lighter feel to your foundation, I believe. Anyway, um, let's see what else can I say about this foundation? Um, let's. It's the only drugstore foundation I feel like that has a pretty perfect match for my skin, pretty much, because I've used L'Oreal True Match and it's not dark enough for me at all. I've used so many other ones, like um, the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse, and that didn't go very well either. I have to mix that actually with my Sephora foundation, which is too red, and then it makes a nice color for me. So without further ado, I'm just going to apply this. this. And to apply this foundation, I normally use a flat top brush like this. And I'm using my Beldilium Bild Tools 957 brush, which looks like this, this flat top. Flat top kabuki. And I'm just going to spray this down with Fix Plus because it's the closest thing I have for water right now at my disposal. Cool. So that's pretty much soaking wet. I'm just going to dip that into the foundation and just work slowly in sections to apply it. Also on this lighting you can probably see way more imperfection on my skin. Like you can see the, the under my eyes, I don't exactly have dark circles but I have puffiness. It's raised and it's actually lighter than my skin tone which is kind of annoying. Because you know you'd like to highlight under your eyes but no. My little puffiness is too dark. Oh, no, I lied. My little puffiness is too light, so I had to darken it up there. So, when I apply this, I just kind of stipple it on there and make sure I drag it out. I try to blend it as much as I can so that it doesn't dry all awkward and patchy. And I just repeat this all over my face, so my nose. It's a nosy face, takes the most coverage. And also, um, when we start the middle of the face, it allows for a way more natural application so that, you know, so that on the outside, you can feather it out a little bit more while on the inside, and it'll be way more closer to the color of the foundation. But it's always better to have something that matches your skin tone, but this helps 
let's mask that up if you do have that issue that your foundation does not exactly match your skin tone. And I always try to blend it right into my hairline so that there is a discrepancy between the color of my scalp if I parted my hair. Normally there isn't, but it can never be too sure. And then I try to get under my chin a little. And I'm just going to take the last bit of it up and put it on this side of my face. Now, as you can see, after applying that to my face, it evened out the puffy white colors that I have under my eyes. Like, of course, it didn't decrease the puffiness. I'm actually not sure why my, puffy, my eyes are puffy like this, which is kind of annoying, but it brought everything to one shade. Any little bit of scarring I had, it covered it all up. And around my mouth even, where I normally look a little bit, maybe like around my mouth has a little bit of darkness here and there, but not always. Today, I don't think it was as much or as noticeable. So I covered that up. And I think it's a pretty good match for my skin. This is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, again, <laughs> in the shade 450 Mocha. And to me, even though I shared it out with water, it doesn't affect the, the Color Stay effect. The foundation still stays on all day long, even if I'm sweating. And you are going to see it just dry to a matte finish, pretty much. So, um, let's see. That's pretty much it for my foundation. I, I'd go out with this in powder if I'm going to be out for a really long time or for my nose especially, especially just around my nose, I'd just go over it with powder just to set it. And I'm just gonna go and get my powder and show you okay, guys so really quick. To finish this off, I'm just gonna go over this with powder. Not the whole thing, just mostly around my nose because my nose likes to get really oily. Like even matte foundations don't keep my nose matte, so. I'm just going to take my Mac Miller Skin Finish in Deep Dark really quick and just pat that right on my nose. Right there for my T-zone, but especially on my nose because my nose is interesting. Okay. I think that's enough for my nose. <laughs> I'm just going to take the rest and just brush it over my face really quick. Okay, now if I'm going to highlight or anything, I normally would take this little sample size, this little sample size of the NARS Laguna Eliminator. It looks like that. As you can see, it's like brown, it's a little bit shimmery. It doesn't have much of a smell to it, but it's okay. This is not a problem. Why would you really need smell on it, right? So, normally I do this before my powder, but... Today is special because I'm silly and I forgot I was going to use a new, another liquid product. So as far as highlighting goes, I'm just going to take this right on my cheekbones. And then I'm going to take it down to the middle of my forehead, down my nose. And now I look kind of silly, but I'm just going to blend it. See this? I don't have to worry too much about it just getting stuck in one spot or anything. I just need to make sure I blend it out. This doesn't dry very quickly at all. Well, it dries when you blend it out. So you don't have to worry about it drying and patch, right? all patching and stuff. And normally I use a um, highlighter to just bring dimension back to my face if I feel like it looks dull. If I feel like my face looks especially dull, I will use it a little bit heavier than I just did. This is just to add a little bit of highlighting effect to my face. And over that, I normally use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Golden Deposit right on top of that. And I like to take that on my MAC 116 brush like this. Normally a brush brush, but I don't like how flat it is for blush, so 
I normally just use my highlighting products with it. And if I'm not using a highlighting product, I will use a shimmery brush blush with it. Since it doesn't usually take too much time. Well, not time, too much product up on the blush. So, I just go over everywhere that I highlight with this powder really quick. Nice and quick and light. And anywhere that looks too heavy, I just go back into it with my powder brush and blend it really nice and easy. So, and then my scent goes away again. But this is pretty much how I do my foundation almost every day. Oh, yeah, my scent came back. Yay. I pretty much do my foundation like this. Well, not every day because I wear makeup every day, but... On days that I do wear makeup, I will do my foundation more or less like this. Just to highlight, contour. Well, not normally contour. I'm a little bit dark for that. So to contour, I have to find the perfect powder for that. I'm still looking for it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm sorry this video is a little drawn out, but this is pretty much how I did my foundation. If I do a video or anything, it's more or less how I do my foundation. I might skip the highlighting just because it's not always necessary. I like to use it more if my skin needs a little bit more of a refresher course, like if it's just not looking very up to par. But I just decided to show you guys anyway. So until next time, stay beautiful inside and out. And if you want to see the tutorial for this eye look, which is for Hawkeye, from the Avengers, just keep watching, um, not keep watching, what am I talking about? I'll link it below or somewhere in this video, maybe there. It looks nice, it looks, it looks pretty cool, so I'll probably link it around here. But anyway, bye guys, and until next time, stay beautiful inside and out.